I don't know why it looks so much bigger this time. He's back. Behind the scenes. Yep. Got my tracks greased so they're not going to squeak today. Bucket two. Well, I mean, that'll probably be a hundred less comments you get now. I know. About to knock some trees down. Always knocking trees down. Always knocking trees. Hey, we're saving that one. See the blue ribbon? Yep, saving one. Huh, maybe two. Actually, we're saving some really nice ones in the back. Yeah. Really pretty yeah, see. When we get to it. But other than that, it's, you're about to have some morning sun. Good, because I've got to put my uh, internet sat dish right there, yep. and that was blocking it. I'll tell you in two weeks, <laughs> you will not have that problem. <laughs> Depending on which direction, you might not have that problem after today. Yeah. All right, so everybody's been waiting. This is what it is. Shop goes over here, plus some other stuff we'll talk about later. This used to be a field in the pictures I've got from the 50s. This was all flat in the field, and then they let it grow up. So do that. You'll see uh, they're clear cutting in the back some, uh, and they'll stack the logs up here for the logging truck to take. So this is gonna be kind of a transfer area for the next uh, six weeks and then uh, do some of the prep for the five acre pond build. I just wanna know what time lunch will be ready today. Depends on what you want. We eat every day, we eat. We eat? Yeah, we eat. We miss no meals. No. I don't miss any either unless <laughs> I got no wheels to go get them. No, nah, we got you covered. Especially if it means you keep keep getting shit done. Right? Yeah. You gonna fire the grill up? I've got two of them. You see the ones bent? It was in my way, so I ran it over. With what? The, the lawnmower. Because it's so hard to get off the lawnmower. Well, you, you know. Stuff happens. Yeah. You get that on these big projects. Oh, and don't run over the flowers. I won't do it on purpose. Yeah. They're going to be transplanted. Mm, okay. Transplanted. They've been... Does they were. mean I'm going to have to dig them up and move them? Maybe. They were planted in the 50s. In the 50s? Yeah. And they come back every year. And then there's the spinach patch in the back that comes up. And then they die in 2023. I don't know. What's 70, 70 years later. That was pretty good, right? That's a good run in that average lifespan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for a plant. Yeah. What's the average lifespan for a tree that let's dig comes up across? The day. <laughs> that day. <laughs> that day.
day one. That's what you got. Not bad for a day's work, huh? Should have done this when he was here last time, just knocked it out. And the house is painted for those that haven't been keeping up on that. That's the smell of money. What are you talking about? All these lumber yards are making us millions of dollars out here. Do we have any any trees that are getting cut down to become wood? That one log right there. This one? Yep. And that's because the first, like, third of the tree is all they can use for lumber, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, look at those. They look like spaghetti noodles. Kind of yeah. hard to cut anything but Home Depot wood out of that. But I saw those guys. They buy their own little sawmills. Yeah. And you put it in there, and you can build a house. Well, if you take that one log and you cut a two-by-four out of the center, I mean, you can get one two-by-four out of the whole entire tree. Hmm. Yeah, good point.